Hi, good morning. I'm so glad you could join me today for a little bit of tea. Today I am drinking, excuse me if I pronounce this wrong, Vadam Teas. Um, this is their vanilla chai flavor. They're a small business based in India and they are carbon neutral as well as plastic neutral. I think those are the terms. I'd probably have to look that up. I should have done that. should be prepared for this kind of thing. Anyway, so welcome. Uh, I'm so glad that you can meet with me today. I'd say it's definitely not as much vanilla as I would usually like, uh, but that is perfectly okay. It's still very flavorful, very tasty, and a good quality chai in my opinion. So what are you drinking today? What are your plans for today? Go ahead and let me know in the comments. And if you would like to join me a few times a week to have a little coffee date together, go ahead and press the subscribe button, which is somewhere, still don't really know where to point to. So before we get into it, I wanted to ask, does anybody know what to do or how to save a plant after it like falls and face plants like from its shelf? Cause I am pretty sure that I may have a deceased plant on my hands. Well, I have this pothos plant, or is it pothos? Pothos, pothos, I'll say pothos. So I have this potho pothos plant that lives on this shelf in my bathroom. I have a window in my shower and I keep my pothos plant there. Um, and it was doing really, really well for a long time. It was growing so nicely um, to the point where I thought, uh, okay, so it needs another repotting. So I put it into its bigger size pot, no problem. Fine, cool, dandy. I put it back up on the shelf and it was a little bit unstable looking, but it stayed, it was fine. So I thought, yeah, that's great, Let that's cool, I'll just leave that there, perfect. Um, so I was in my bathroom just doing my nightly routine to get ready and the plant just falls off the shelf unprompted by itself, just like face plants like off the shelf into my bathtub, like landed fully flat on top of itself. There was dirt all over my tub um and my poor poor plant um so i like scooped up whatever dirt i could put it back in the pot and moved my plant to a now more stable location <laughs> it's been wilting and very sad for several days now i don't know if that's just because i repotted it or because i brutally injured it so <laughs> Uh, if anybody has any advice on how to save a plant from severe trauma let me know. I could really use some help. Say a prayer for my pothos plant. Leave a like to say a prayer for my pothos plant. Please and thank you. So this year, due to our current global situation, which I don't know if I'm allowed to say those kind of words on YouTube, uh, let me know if I'm wrong. I have had a significant amount of time to spend with myself and be entirely alone and without a schedule which is a double-edged sword because I've kind of had some extra time to like get to know myself. For the last like, you know, 17 years or whatever it is of my life, I've been in school, in college, at performing arts school, at a job, and having just like this major slowdown of my life has given me a bit of time to really explore what's going on with me. Out of the horrendousness that this whole situation has been, it it has given me some really valuable lessons about A, how important it is to spend time with yourself, and B, just I've learned so much about me. I've come to really value my alone time, being kind of forced into spending a bit more time with myself has given me the opportunity to take a more introspective look into the way that I live. While I've always known that I am my biggest critic, I now realize that truly I am also my biggest obstacle. There's so many things that I love doing and there's so many things that I want to achieve, but no matter how good I am at these things or no matter how badly I want to be doing these things, there's just something inside of me that just freezes and doesn't let me pursue them. I would say that I spent the majority of college, high school, my training after college, 
just getting mowed down by my deadlines and chasing after my progress rather than actually taking advantage of the things that I had in front of me and putting things off to the last second, doing the bare minimum. And the only person who that hurts is me. Having my regular work practice, my regular grind taken away from me this year made me really just kind of have this epiphany of, wow, I was doing these things to work towards my own success. Why was I so hesitant to do them? So I spent a lot of these past few months really spending time with myself, getting to know me a little bit and the way that I work and reminding myself of the talents that I have, of the passions that I have, and why I do what I do. And I started putting a lot of work towards developing a mindfulness practice and exploring my own spirituality in order to change my mindset and figure out exactly what it was that was making me not pursue my own success. I think that a huge part of why I was holding myself back was because I was afraid of being seen. I was afraid of putting myself out there and giving people the opportunity to reject me. I feel like that would have just totally crushed my spirit. So I protected myself and didn't let me be seen. But I've spent a lot of time this year getting to know me and it's really helped me to realize what I'm capable of and I'm done being afraid. I know now and I'm trying to ingrain this into my brain that I deserve to be happy. I deserve to do the things that I love and to share those things with the world. So from now on, if I want it, I'm going to do it. And there's nothing, not even me, there's nothing that's gonna stand in my way of achieving the things that I know I'm capable of. So what has this past year looked like for you? Did it, you know, not really change too much? Did you just continue your typical work remotely? My life was just like totally turned upside down on its head because I'm in the performing arts. So I was working an in-person job. I was at a performing arts school and it was just completely shut down. We didn't, we didn't move remotely, totally shut down. It was kind of hard for me to adjust, but um, I've definitely been enjoying my virtual voice lessons now. Um, really really looking forward to you know the day when we're all able to sing together and perform with each other in person what are some things that you've been learning about yourself this past year i have learned that i am a danger to potted plants and i really need to work on that i'm so glad that you could join me today for a little personal talk over tea if you'd like to hang out with me a few times a week and you know just meet up for a little tea time chat uh feel free to subscribe is it over there is the button over here I don't know, it's it's in one of these spots. Um, and give this video a like to send good wishes to my pothos plant. Um, I would really appreciate it. You can follow me on Instagram, TikTok, Pinterest at Broke Goddessery, and I highly suggest joining me at brokegoddessery.com. Sign up for the email list, it's completely free, and you will be notified twice a week about my new blog posts. I love and appreciate you so much, and I hope that you have an absolutely wonderful rest of your day. Thank you for spending some time with me, and I'll see you tomorrow.